Hi everyone, I'm Ellie, founder of Code of the Future, and today I'm starting my Python Matplotlib tutorial series for beginners. So this is the very first video on this channel. My plan is to make videos every week, adding on to this Matplotlib tutorial series, and hopefully you'll be able to uncover what is one of my favourite modules in Python. So in this video I'm going to give you a little bit of background about what Matplotlib is and what is useful, and then in the next tutorial I will be showing you how you can import and install Matplotlib, and in the future videos I'll be showing you how you can do some incredible things with with matplotlib. So firstly, what is matplotlib? Matplotlib is a low-level graph plotting library in Python, which means you can plot graphs in it, which is really, really cool. The plots aren't just limited to static, so you know, not just a 2D picture on your screen. You can also make interactive visualizations where you can move certain things and also animated. Those are a little bit more complicated, so I will only be touching those more complicated things in an intermediate matplotlib tutorial series. So it's a pretty incredible library. I would say that it's used a lot in data analysis so if you're somebody that's looking to go into data analysis then matplotlib is definitely a library that is very useful to have i've used it on my internship as part of the uk space agency that was a programming internship but a lot of that handled data analysis and i used python and it was honestly crazy what plots I could make with matplotlib so I'm excited to show you some of those in this tutorial series. It's mainly used for data analysis but it's not limited to data analysis as it can be used in a whole variety of different areas as well. What's great about matplotlib is you don't just have to use matplotlib you can also use other python libraries alongside it which is very cool and gets very interesting so that's one of the cool things about matplotlib is you can use other python libraries alongside it to enhance your coding ability and also enhance your plots that you create. Throughout this matplotlib tutorial tutorial series I'll be showing you some of the basic operations as well as hands-on examples. I'm aware this tutorial series is for beginners so I don't want to make it too difficult. I'm going to guide you through each video and some of the stuff may seem completely obvious but I can guarantee if you don't get taught it you'll probably skip over it and uh, you'll forget it when you then go to use matplotlib later. So my plan on this tutorial series is to show you a whole range of things that you can do in matplotlib and also give you some hands-on examples as well and hopefully you can watch my videos and code alongside me and do some pretty awesome things. My plan as I said is to continually add to this series so if there's something that I do you know in my general life and I think oh that's cool I'll add that on then I'll do it but my plan is within the first few videos to have given you a good foundation of how to use matplotlib uh, and hopefully in the future give you some more intermediate classes as well. So that has been the video today. Join me in the next video where I talk to you about installing and downloading matplotlib and how to get it set up into your computer and then we're going to start on with some hands-on examples and showing you exactly how it works. If you like this video please like, subscribe and comment and if you want to support this channel even further then hit the subscribe button and hit the bell button with it and also there's a donation link in the description if you want to support the channel even further. So thank you for watching and I hope to see you all in the next matplotlib tutorial series video.